In this lesson we're going to look at how momentum is related to forces. We can say that whenever a force acts on an object it will always result in a change in momentum. Let's just fill that in. So we can see. Okay you can see that this car is about to collide with a brick wall. During the collision the car pushes against the wall and following Newton's third law the wall pushes back against the car with an equal and opposite force. Now, as a result of this force acting on the car, the momentum of the car changes. Right? It has an initial momentum, which we'll calculate in a minute, and clearly, after some small time t, its momentum is reduced to zero because the car comes to rest. So we can say that the force acting on the car is equal to the change in momentum divided by the time taken for the collision to occur. That's to say the force is equal to the initial momentum minus the final momentum divided by the time taken for the collision t. So let's put some figures to this situation to make some sense of this relationship here. So we'll say that the car has a mass of 600 kilograms it's quite a lightweight car and it's traveling with a speed of or velocity of 20 meters per second okay so we can say that its initial momentum is 600 times 20 final momentum is zero because it clearly comes to a rest here and there's a finite time during which the collision takes place, which we'll say is one and a half seconds. So it takes 1.5 seconds for the car to completely come to rest. Okay, so we work that out. That comes to 8,000 newtons. So during this collision, a force of 8,000 newtons is exerted on the car. And uh, this is very important for car designers and manufacturers. They have to think of ways of reducing this force or else it could result in fatalities during a collision. Um, the way they do this is to try and ensure that this collision time is as large as possible. That's to say the bigger this number is here, then the smaller the force will be that acts during the collision and the way they do that is they design what is called a crumple zone into the bonnet of the car. And the crumple zone is specifically designed to ensure that the collision takes as long as possible. And thus guaranteeing that the, the force of impact is as small as possible. Let's just make a note of that. So the crumple zone lengthens the collision time and so reduces the force on impact which could be fatal if it gets too big.